a welcome to the department of english government post graduate college atak these online classes have been started on instructions of punjab higher education department government of punjab lahore the prime purpose of these classes is to help students in continuing their studies and preparation for the final exams by conducting these classes uh, the students would benefit from the teaching of their teachers in covid-19 situation as you know that uh, all the educational institutions have been closed due to the spread of covid-19 hence online classes are inevitable for the smooth flow of educational activities that is why uh, the government decided to launch online classes for the betterment of the students in this regard we hope and expect that you would pay full attention to these classes and would benefit from them as maximum as possible we also hope that you would do your best to perform in the exams for this purpose uh, our department too started the online classes to help you in preparing yourself for the final exams i am abdul kiyu from department of english uh, my job is to teach you grammar that is the paper b portion of the paper and we have already started the correction of sentences uh, this is the question of 10 marks in your final paper in which incorrect sentences are given and you have to correct those incorrect sentences this question is of prime importance because it can help you in securing more marks and these marks are very much pertinent and important uh, because uh, exact 10 marks can be got in this question if only five sentences are corrected so uh, i would be sharing the rules and the principles uh, that can help you in correcting the incorrect sentence and uh, this would not only help you in securing good marks in your graduation but these rules would also help you in improving your english in general because the basic purpose of Uh, these lectures is to uh, help you in spotting out the uh, most frequent mistakes committed in the usage of english by knowing these mistakes you will be able to express yourself in correct english hence it is hoped and expected of you that you would pay full attention to these rules further you are also advised to make notes of lectures because these would help you later uh, in your preparation for the final exam as well welcome to the test number 8 that is related to the uh, correction of sentences uh, as you know that we uh, are having the incorrect sentences uh, first of all, first of all we have five incorrect sentences uh, and then the mistakes in them have already been highlighted there uh, so as to enable you to uh, concentrate on the relevant part of a sentence where uh, an error exists uh, so uh, this is what is there uh, let us begin from the sentence number 1 uh, in the first part in this part we would have the incorrect sentences uh you are required to write down these sentences uh on your notebook 
uh, then I will give you the time to correct them. Then after correcting them on your notebook, uh, then uh, look at the second part of this lecture that whether the sentences you have written are correct or incorrect. Uh, hence the here the first sentence is uh, he as well as I uh, have reached safely. So you you see that the sentences uh, the the pronouns and the subjects are. Uh, uh, connected with as well as and have has been highlighted here indicating that there is something wrong uh, with using uh, the helping verb have so what you need is to concentrate on have uh, sentence number two she as well as I respect elders again respect is highlighted here uh, showing that there is something wrong with the use of the of, of respect and again as in, in sentence number one uh, these subjects like she and I are also uh, connected with as well as so this is to remind you that uh, what is the rule of using verb and helping verb and uh, the two pronouns or the two subjects are connected with as well as similarly with sentence number three either he or his friends is in the wrong you can see here that is has been highlighted showing that there is something wrong by using is uh, and you see here that the sentence is connected and the subjects are, are connected with the either or uh, showing that what is the rule of using uh, when two uh, subjects are connected with either or or neither nor uh, here comes the sentence number four that is incorrect that neither he nor you has joined again the structure of neither nor or either are what is the rule of using the uh, verb or helping verb with them that is that, that is required there so you see here that has is highlighted here showing that you have to concentrate on this one that what is the what is the requirement of for replacing has with which one word is just the uh, it's just helping you to remind all this one and Finally, we come to the sentence number five. Two and two makes four. Uh, when when two uh, subjects are joined together by two, so you you know the rule. So that is what you you need to do this one. So please stop this uh, video here, and first of all, correct your sentences on your notebook. When you have corrected your sentences on the notebook, then uh, resume the video because in this part, in the part two you are being shared the uh, correct sentences uh, that you uh, have to uh, see that whether the way in which you have corrected your sentences whether they are uh, correct or incorrect this would be helpful in continuing this one here comes uh, the solution and the correct sentences that you need to see uh, in this part of the of, the, of this lecture uh, sentence number one he as well as I has reached safely in the incorrect sentence you had seen that there was have have was used according to I where is the rule is that when two uh, subjects are joined together with as well as then the verb or the helping verb is used according to the first subject that is he so that is why we have replaced uh, have with has he as well as I has reached safely is the correct sentence Number two, she as well as I respects elders. Again, um, S has been added here because she, you know, is a third person singular and we would use verb or helping verb according to the first pronoun, that is she. That's why it would take S. So she as well as I respects elders. Number three, either he or his friends are in the wrong. Uh, in uh, the construction of the sentence in which we have either or either or or neither, neither nor then the verb or the helping verb is used according to the last uh, pronoun or the noun or the subject and here the last one is the friends which is plural that's why r has been headed here either he or his friends are in the wrong and now the final sentences like the sentence number four here Neither he nor you have joined. In the incorrect sentence, 
there was a has as a sentence. But, you know, if two sentences are joined together by either or or neither nor, uh, then the verb or the helping verb is used according to the last noun or pronoun of the subject. And the second pronoun or the last pronoun in the sentence is you. And with you we use have instead of has. Uh, that is why uh, has has been replaced with have neither he nor you have joined. This one is the correct sentence. And finally, two and two make four. You know, when two sentences are added together and joined together, sorry, not two sentences, if two uh, nouns uh, are joined together with and they are dealt as plural and plural we don't use as or es uh, that's here two and two make four is the correct expression for this sentence